Hey, Vikes. I'm here at the council. We have a couple of announcements. In today's show, we have a new segment called Counselor's Couch. Well, first thing is... Happy Monday, Vikes. I'm Cade. And I'm Sage. And this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. We're doing a new segment called Counselor's Couch where we talk to the counselors about important information. Allie caught up with Mrs. Edmonds and Mr. Alexander. Hey Vikes, I'm here with the counselors who have a couple of announcements for you guys. So what is happening? Well, first thing is the first Washburn Tech test will be Wednesday, October 9th from 1230 to 3 in the library. Um, and that deadline to sign up is today. So if you want to take it next um, Wednesday, you have to sign up today. We do have also other testing on October 30th and November 20th. And you can sign up with my secretary in the counselor's office um, anytime with that. The second thing that's going on is we are hosting a series of career and life planning sessions during career and life planning time starting Monday, October 7th in the library during career and life planning. You guessed it. We're going to focus on what you're going to do after high school. We'll start with what post-secondary school education do I need? How do I apply? Where do I get the money? So come to all of those sessions. Seniors, make sure and go to that one. Okay, next, also on Wednesday, Wednesday's a busy day, is 501 is having a college and career um, fair that's going to be at their um, Calc site, which is right behind the Natatorium and Hummer Sports Complex, and that is from 1 to 3. If you would like to go there, there's a list in Schoology of all the schools that are going to be there. There's probably about 100 schools, careers tech schools, all different kinds of places. But if you're interested in going to that, the steps are you have to get a pre-ab slip from your counselor. You have to get that signed by your CLP teacher and your eighth hour teacher. You have to get it signed by your parents. You have to bring it back to a counselor and they'll give you like a ticket. And then when you get to the site, you have to give a ticket to the counselor there and then you're free to talk to whoever you want. So it's a really good opportunity. The only thing is you have to provide your own transportation to be able to go. So juniors and seniors, you might want to think about this. All right. And the last thing is there are several representative visits next week. Monday during CALP time is Emporia State University, my alma mater, go Hornets. Tuesday and Wednesday during lunch is Highland and the Army. And then on Thursday is K-State during CALP time. My alma mater, go Cats. <laughs> now back to your anchors. There's a lot of good information there. Here's Sage with the announcements. There will be an ACT prep class. Visit the high school office to register. Registration and payment due by October 18th. If you're interested in going to the game Friday at Junction City on a spirit bus, then go to School G to fill out a form. Payment is due by Tuesday. See Mr. Wilson if you are interested in getting a free fishing license. Some students are still not parking in their stalls or have not purchased a parking pass. When snow starts, please try and park in the area of your stall. Let's find out what sports are in action today. Now over to Cade. Oh, hi. What am I doing? Oh, I'm practicing for the water walk on... Saturday, October 12th from 4.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Seaman High School football field and stadium. All proceeds go to Thirst Project. Can't wait to see you there.
girls varsity tennis team are having their league meet today at Cosover. The boys soccer team are headed to Mill Valley to see if they can make their record 9-2 and, and keep their four game win streak alive. And the girls golf will be at Western Hills to go against Silver Lake. I wonder what the weather will be like these, for these events. Josh, I'm sending it over to you. Well, it was an oh my Monday morning with our low of 42 degrees. That's the coldest it's been so far this season, but only six degrees below our average for this time of year and nowhere near a record low of 23 degrees. Now, throughout the next mornings, we are looking at climbing temperatures into the mid 50s to near 60s, so you may still need Back it for tomorrow morning, but can probably leave that at home for both Wednesday and Thursday, Friday. Big changes are on the way. More on that in just a second. Now, today and tomorrow, looking sunny, and we will stay dry. There's a slight chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm coming in Wednesday morning. You can see not all that widespread or heavy, but there's at least a chance to get a little bit of Wednesday morning. In an approaching storm system. This is Thursday afternoon. Some very warm temperatures with this cold front nearing the area. That's also going to spark off a few stronger thunderstorms in southeastern Kansas. We'll see if any of those make it here in northeast Kansas Thursday evening. And then I don't think you're ready for this, but let's show you what happens by Friday morning. Oh my goodness, wind chills down into the 20s. It is going to be frigid out there, and that will continue throughout the day. On Friday, a strong, gusty north wind will produce wind chills in the 30s and low 40s. Temperature is going to struggle to get out of the 40s on Friday. Again, in terms of our rain chances, mainly Wednesday morning, then Wednesday night, Thursday, Thursday night, and very early Friday morning. Some big changes are on the way for the end of the week. Now, Caden Sage, back to you. Make sure to turn in your forms for Spirit Bus and the ACT. That's it for today, Vikes. Have a great rest of your day.